Hey, it's Ray the Video Guy here, and today I'm here to tell you about progressive web apps. Now, you may be wondering what the heck that is. Well, so was I. I had no idea what that meant. Fortunately, I was able to get my hands on progressive web apps, learn exactly what it is, and see how awesome this is for local businesses as well as for other businesses as well. So what exactly is this? Well, basically, it's a website that's built mobile first so that it looks amazing on a mobile phone, still looks fantastic on a desktop, but there's not any of that weird mobile thing going on, you know, where oftentimes you take a website and it's mobile friendly, but it's not all that mobile friendly. This makes sure that it is mobile friendly first and then that it still works on the desktop. And this is huge because Google wants everything to be mobile friendly and fast, and that's exactly what this does for you. But on top of that, it allows you to have users turn this into an app on their phone. So imagine a restaurant, your favorite restaurant, and you wanna be able to access their menu at any time. You can have a progressive web app and have it on your phone, and it's gonna be able to be popped right up there every time you need to use it, even if you're not online, you'll still be able to access that, look at the menu, and be able to place your orders by calling them on the phone. So Progressive Web Apps gives you a mobile-first site, a desktop site, and then a web app that you can use on your phone anytime with all sorts of great plugins. This is very cool because if you work with local businesses, they're going to need this, and if you know anything about web apps, or uh, apps for your phone, usually they are very, very expensive. And now for the first time, you'll be able to do this quickly, easily, and inexpensively so that anybody can take advantage of this. So let's take a look at the inside right now. Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video of the inside of the program here. Now, um, just so you know, watch some of the other trainings that are on here where they're going to go in depth on exactly how to use every single piece in here. That would take far too long and I'd be starting from scratch. They've already got stuff in their account. So watch those to really get the nitty gritty of the actual building process of this. But I wanna show you what's in here so you can see what you get. So when you log in, you're gonna get a couple of things. You're gonna have the mobile desktop sites and the progressive web apps. And that's what we're dealing with here. What you're doing is you're building a mobile first site. And what we mean by that is most sites nowadays you build are desktop built and then they are um, mobile friendly, so they'll adjust to fit mobile. In this case here, you're actually building for mobile, which a few programs do that now because more people are looking on mobile, especially for things like local businesses. So making sure the mobile is perfect and then having that turn into the desktop versus creating a desktop and trying to shoehorn it into a mobile site makes a lot more sense these days, and that's exactly what this does. Um, and again, it's not the only program that does this. Now, I also use Funnel Pages, which has that same philosophy, build for mobile first, and that's something that Google really, really likes. So again, you're gonna start off with building your site and then turning that site into the progressive web app. Okay, and so what we do here is we click on here, and when you do, you'll be brought inside, and then you can create your new site. And you can see it gives you a few bit of information about the wizard. We're gonna hit OK. And inside here, you're gonna see all the different websites you can choose from, and there's quite a few in here. You can see this three pages worth. But what makes this really cool is, look, you got cleaning service, handyman, chiropractor, dog walker, dentist. Uh, sharp, I don't even know what that would be. I think that's just the name of that one. Uh, hotel, you've got uh, a salad restaurant, you've got a barber shop, you've got pool services, you've got weddings, you've got a uh, cafe, you've got divorce attorney, and obviously in between here, you've got things like blogs and about us and whatnot. But um, for this, for most of us, the big thing is the local. And we got salon, we got vision, we got barber shop, we got, uh, let's see, nail salons, we've got uh, web portfolios, we've got opt-in forms, uh, let's see, what other businesses do we have here? Let's keep going down, web portfolios again, hotels again, burger menus, uh, maps and directions, we've got women's accessories, we've got restaurants, we've got food, we've got images uh, for food, we've got uh, landing pages, uh, corporate site, we've got uh, a couple other just uh, generic ones here. And we'll go into page two. Because this is what's exciting is the fact that all of these are already in here built in. Again, another burger, another hotel, uh, a law firm, web studio, e-commerce, hair salon. Uh, let's see, a couple of just generic ones in here. Auto repair, nail salon, cafe, 
Uh, let's see, sushi restaurant, real estate. And going down, a couple more styles here, clean, vision. So a lot of local ones. And then there's some extra ones that you can unlock if you choose to. And again, you don't have to, but there's a lot of other cool ones in here that you can unlock, okay? So what we're going to do is you're going to start off by either choosing one of the templates or you can start from scratch. But of course, I'm not going to start from scratch. So, um, you know, my daughter wants to do a dog walking one. So I think I'm just going to choose that for now. Okay, and what you're going to see here is... You've chosen your template. You're going to see it over here in the side, and it is, you know, fully scrollable. You can look through it and see what it looks like. Okay, it works just like as if you were on your phone. So that's the preview of that. And so now what you need to do is you need to come in and add and, and uh, adjust your content. So down here you can see you've got your home, team, services, contact us. So we're going to choose this template and create the site. You sure you want to do this? Yep, I am sure. Okay, if you want to give the site a name, uh, I'm just going to put uh, Dog Walker. I'll put Ray. And hit OK. And that's going to bring us into the editor here. And this is where you can go in and you can do all sorts of things. So from here, you can adjust what you have on your page. You can create new pages. You can see the pages that are already in here. So you got the home page. And if we click on that, that's going to take us to the inside here. Okay, and this is where we can go and make all of our adjustments. We can move things around. So, like I said, you can look at the different things here, and then you can move them around. So if you said, uh, oh, you know what, the contact us form, for whatever reason, I want it to be up at, near the top, well, then you can move it up near the top, and then it's going to be there. Okay, so that's how you edit this down. And again, watch the longer videos that really show you the nitty-gritty of actually editing all this, because one, they know it a lot better than I do. I'm still learning the platform, um, but... I wanted to show you what this is like with the templates and everything so that you can see all the different cool things. Now, once you get in here and you start to change all of your information, so you've got your headers, you can fill in all of this information here, page visibilities, page head SEO, sidebars, exit intent pop-up if you want that. Um, you've also got options over here, okay? You can adjust any of these. You can also adjust the styles. So if you want to go in and change the app and, and what or the uh, theme, you can do that. You've also got an app section here for the progressive web apps, okay? But again, you'll get into that later. So going back to the pages here, we'll go back to all pages. So you come in here, edit each of these, and then you'll have your website ready. Now at any time, you can come over here and you can view this site. And what's cool about this is watch what it does. And I think this is one of the coolest things about this right now is you get access to what it looks like on all the different devices, and they all work. So you can come in and you can adjust them. You can come in and play with them. And I thought that was way cool, the fact that you can see what it'll look like as a mobile, as a desktop, and as a, um, a tablet app. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now you can click here to get full screen, or you can scan it as well, okay? And you can also share the preview if you want. So all that can be done right in here. And then once you're done with that, you can go back and you can finish editing everything in here. And again, just click on one of these. And when you do, you'll be able to go in and make any changes that you want. Okay. Again, title, header, all of that in here. So watch the videos, the other videos included here, so that you can really learn the nitty-gritty of this. But I wanted to at least show you the templates and how easy it is to come in and just jump in and start editing these. And again, these are built for mobile first, so they're going to look good on mobile. That way, they also look good on desktop, but over 60% now are searching on mobile, especially when it comes to local businesses. It's even higher. So this is why this is so important. So once you have this set up, then what you can do is you can go and you can start to turn this into a progressive web app, and I'll show you that now. Okay, so once you have your page set up the way that you want, you can come into the progressive web apps area, and now you can create a new PWA. Hit OK here, and it's going to bring up our new site with the dogs here, the dog walker. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to create a PWA from this site. Are we sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And here we go. Now, before we get started too far into this, uh, we don't have a domain yet for this, and that is required in order to actually put this out as a web app. So you will need to have a domain. So I'll need to get, you know, dogwalkerray.com or something like that. Obviously, this is just for fun, so I'm not going to go out and buy a domain. But you'll get the idea, and then I'll show you an example of how the web app actually works when it's done using one of the other ones that are already made. So here, we've got the name. We're going to put in a description here. 
Um, because it's a template, it's already even got the icon here and everything else is all set up. So we're pretty much done with that because it's gonna be the same as our site. If we'd like to, we can go and edit the site here. You can also click here to look at the site, okay? So we can check that out in full, just like the website itself. And so we're pretty much ready to go with this. Now, obviously, again, I'm not gonna be able to export this because I don't have a domain. So let's go over and take a look at what a finished one looks like and some of the features that you have on there. Okay, so here is the site with that uh, Todd created, and it's a very simple site. You can see on both the mobile and on the desktop here, it looks good. It's, uh, it's just got a title, a video, uh, an opt-in, and some information. What you'll notice here at the bottom, it's got this little box that allows you to add to home screen, and the same thing on the phone. And so if we hit add to home screen here, you can see it's gonna ask if we want to install that, and boom, there we go we now have the actual desktop web app, and that's it full screen there, that we can access anytime. Now, obviously with this one, you may not want to create a, uh, a permanent app on your phone, but if this was a restaurant with a menu or you know someplace that you frequented often, it would be great for that. And even the app itself is you know, adjustable as such. Now on the phone, same thing. We've got the, uh, you know, the same website in a mobile friendly manner. And then we've got the add to home screen button here. So I'm gonna click on that. And after we do that, you'll see we now have it as an app on our screen here. We can click on this and open it up. And now instead of it being a web browser, it's a full app that we can use anytime. And again, this would be great for things like restaurants where you're keeping a menu on file, things like that. So very, very cool stuff. The fact that you can create apps for this for your desktop, apps for this for your phone, as well as having a website, a fully functioning website for both mobile and desktop, just makes this an amazing product that's very easy to use, very valuable, and allows you to have something that you can offer to your clients that has huge value to them. Well, there you go, that is Progressive Web Apps. As you can see, a great program for anybody trying to build a website for a local business or even for big businesses where you wanna make sure that the mobile site is absolutely perfect and that it looks great on desktop and you can have an app that people can put on their phone to access at any time, even when they're not online. That is an amazing package. And of course, if you work with local businesses, this is something that you can offer for a very good price without having to spend months putting all this together or spending $10,000 on a developer to develop the app. You can put this together very quickly and easily, and as you saw, it works really, really well. So if you're ready to do that and you wanna be able to have all these great local templates, be able to build websites super fast, turn them into apps, and charge a good amount of money to local businesses, then now is the time to take action. All you have to do is click the link down below this video. You'll be able to get started today. And of course, if you scroll down the page, you can see the great bonuses that we have, including an agency website to help you sell the progressive apps. So check all that out. If you have any questions, let me know, and we'll see you on the inside.